Hey there everyone, it's Mr. Step Step, and I'm so glad because we can finally open up Paldea Evolved Booster Box. I apologize for my voice, I'm a little bit under the weather, so it's not going to sound as crisp as it usually does. You know, I got that real low voice, baby lock them door and turn. Okay, yeah, sorry. I won't mess around too much. If the voice is just that bad, please let me know in the future, and if I'm ever recovering from an illness, I'll just wait till my voice is completely back to normal. But I still wanted to get a video out to y'all, so... Hopefully, we can get into this booster box. Before I get into these, I do have some pickups to show off. So, there's chapters down below if you just want to skip right to the opening. I'm only going to be opening up one of these. I'm going to be doing half in this video and then half in another video. After a thorough examination, I'm going to open up this one because there's a little bit damage to this corner. This one's a little bit crispier, so I will be keeping this one sealed. Should have prices down below on what I paid. And let's get right into the singles pickups. These are all from TCG Player. If they're less than a dollar, I'm just going to show them off, and if they're more than a dollar, I'll show what I paid and then what I received. So, getting closer and closer to that Crown Zenith Master Set. Very nice. Even got the Tapu Lele. Let's see, we have another stack right here of some Crown Zenith Reverse Hollows. Getting closer to finishing this set. I have a feeling the Reverse Hollows are going to be somewhat difficult to come by, which is kind of funny, because of how many pulls are in the Reverse slot of Crown Zenith. And yes... I, I think this is the first time I'm kind of admitting it. I am going to try to com complete Pokemon Go as well. This is one of the Ditto Peelables. So I think I'm only missing one more Ditto Peelable. I think I have the Bidoof. And then here's the Spinarak. And then I think I'm missing one more. And yes, we do have some full arts from Pokemon Go. Which are all really cheap, surprisingly. Even got that Slaking. Derpy. Kind of lazy. And then a couple more full arts from Pokemon Go. And the Mel Metal V. Sweet. So those are all the singles I picked up. I do have a few more pickups, but I'll just show that off in the second half. So it's not too bogged down in the beginning. Um, this booster box was interesting to come by because I originally purchased these from another seller on eBay. They had really good ratings. And I don't know if they just um, oversold. And then when they got their shipment in, they got way less. Because after this set came out, pretty much every single order was canceled and then they got a bunch of poor reviews and now that um ebay store is pretty much non-existent and it still exists they have nothing for sale and only bad reviews so i imagine they just made a new um store altogether i don't know if they they were scamming or if they just over projected on how much they were actually going to sell i don't know what the full story was ebay was prompt to give me my refund back and i think originally i paid like 120 per booster box so with getting these, I think I like 105 or 106 per. I ended up saving a lot of money, which is pretty nice. So, And I think that's pretty much the cheapest that I've seen these for, like in between 100 and 105. So, um, yeah, let's get right into this. Command a rousing performance. Always going to start with that left side. That's just how I've always done it. But, yeah, no, I really hope I can pull the Tyranitar um, art rare. That's probably my uh, or illustration art rare. Probably would be my number one pull from this set. But overall... We'll be pretty much pleased with everything. I will be keeping, I think, four codes in this part to myself. And I have a lot of talking points to go over today. Unfortunately, my voice is jacked up, but <clears throat> I will, if there's any unique artworks that I haven't seen yet already, I will be sure to talk about them. Superior and Retrieval, really good in those Vax Caliber decks. Calamitous Snowy Mountain. Wow. Whenever any player attaches an energy from their hand to one of their basic non-water Pokemon, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. Orthworm can get a ton of HP. 100 with 3 metal, and then another with the, uh, not the big charm, it's uh, something charm, as another 50 HP to basics. And got the Garganical. We have that Bax, not Bax Caliber, Chien Pao. Go well with Bax Caliber, but please let me know how you guys have been. I have been all right, you know, of course, recovering on the back end of this sickness, which is kind of annoying. So now the only thing that's kind of plagued is my voice, which is very unfortunate because I would say that that's a good chunk of my videos. Wouldn't mind a Dendra full art. Wingle. Spear Tomb is really good. That Fettered in Misfortune. And we got the Low Kicks. <clears throat> but yes, so not this past weekend, but the last weekend. Did go kayaking, which is a lot of fun, but that's how I got this blister right here on my thumb because I wasn't holding the paddles properly. I was like holding it like this, so it would rub right there, and then I it was better to do an overhand grip, which I didn't learn until the end until I already had that blister, so that's what's recovering there. 
So there's that. It was it was pretty fun overall. It ended up being like seven miles, which ended up being way longer than we were expecting. Yeah, we were out there for a minute. Choice belt, good choice belt reprint. Can't wait to get something that's specific to EX Pokemon. Hey, there's an art rare in Orthworm. <laughs> Sorry, I like wanted to sound enthusiastic and I still sounded really sad. Got the Orthworm and the Oricorio. Definitely sleeve this one up. That is a cute one, I like this one. Very precious. It's almost like they're like synchronized dolphins or fountains or something, but it's earthworms in the sand, which is kind of cool. I appreciate that, I appreciate that a lot. Should just be saving one more code for myself. Yeah, overall it was a good time. We were taking our time initially, you know, we had some drinks, we were, the only thing that sucked is the stream had no, or the river didn't have any flow like by itself. So literally, if you wanted to move, you had to move yourself, which was kind of rough. Like you couldn't just float along. Super rod, amazing. Um, but we made it to the end about an hour after what we were expecting. And we were supposed to meet up friends, meet up with friends that evening. And we ended up being like two hours late, which was a little unfortunate. So yeah, slightly awkward. Gothitelle, seeing people use Gothitelle for some of those control decks, which is kind of fun. Pelipper, Cone B and Boss's Orders, let's go. I wouldn't mind getting a Getz's full art, I'm gonna be honest. And that should be the last code I keep for myself. The Getz's full art would be kind of cool. I was kind of hating on Getz's at first, but I don't know, anytime there's a new boss's orders artwork, I kind of get excited. So, sorry about that. There was uh, alarms and I had a little bit of coughing, so I guess it worked out that both those annoying sounds happened at the same time, so I can make a quick cut. Hopefully there's no good pulls in this or else people will think it's rigged, which is okay. Great ball, ooh, reversal energy. Very, very useful. Gardevoir decks, a lot of single prize decks. Reversal Energy does a lot, it's amazing. And the Gyarados. All right. So I also did my 151 pre-order. So I have, I got two Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes, so one to open, one to keep sealed. I haven't pre-ordered the, um, the Ultra Premium Collection yet. I'm probably gonna wait on that. I'm not gonna make the same mistake like I did with the freaking Charizard paying over $100 when it was going for like 90 at one point. And then I also did get one from Pokemon Center Japan of the Japanese 151. So I they were doing that made to order. Uh, there was like a timeline where you could do made to order for like a few days. And so I was able to get one through like a proxy address through Tenso. So it's probably going to take a long time to get out here. But paying $40 plus shipping for one of the 151 Japanese boxes. I mean, it's pretty hard to pass up on that deal. Toxic Croak and the Abomb Snow. So, looking forward to that. Let me know what 151 products you have pre-ordered. And, yeah, super excited for that set. I think a lot of people are just completely overlooking Obsidian Flames, which is kind of funny. Would love to get the Magikarp just to flex on everybody because the price of that card is absolutely ridiculous. I think it's coming down now, but, yeah. So, I f did finish watching all the new Black Mirror episodes from Season 6. Once again, Black Mirror is a show for mature audiences. But, it's a... Uh, it's a fun time, and it gets you thinking about things. Um, I do think it was better than last season. Um, to talk about the individual episodes, Jonah's Awful, I rated a 7 out of 10. Um, so no episodes from season 6, I thought, were, like, my top 5 favorite. But I don't think any I would put in my bottom 5, like, the worst 5 episodes either. So, it was a good balance. Nothing, like, completely jaw-dropping, but if you just wanted to get a Black Mirror fix, it was awesome. And they did experiment with some kind of new ways of presenting Black Mirror episodes, which is kind of cool, which I always appreciate. Yeah, Joan is awful. Had a lot of famous actresses and actors in it, so that can kind of sometimes pull away from the story. Um, but overall, it wasn't bad. I would say it was very just a very middle-of-the-road um, Black Mirror episode, and it's one of the ones that had, like, a decent ending or whatever. A, the Neuvern EX. Let go. Let's go. So I do have the Neuvern EX in my current Reggie Drago deck. If you have, if you're fighting somebody that only attacks with basic Pokemon, you can uh, you can put them in a pretty awkward position. And then the Dominating Echo, if you want to pathlock people, you can do that. Forces them to have a Lost Vacuum or a Worker to discard that Stadium, which is kind of interesting. Or I guess you could use Lugia's attack too. But yeah, so not bad so far. Um, Lock Henry um, was probably I like Lock Henry. It was probably the most Black Mirror. If you're just looking for a traditional Black Mirror feel episode, I would say Lock Henry was probably the one 
from uh, this season. Um, especially the ending. The ending is very depressing. But it was a great episode overall. It was the only one where I was like kind of scared the entire time. Um, no jump scares or anything, but I was just kind of scared the entire time on that episode. Like I was, I was almost tempted to Google like, are there any super scary moments in this? And it ended up not being that bad. But yeah, it was a pretty depressing ending. So very Black Mirror feel to the end. Squawkabilly. Yes. So that's a double rare, and I believe this is an ultra rare with that two star rarity. <clears throat> so Squawkabilly, that Squawk and Seize is not bad. I've seen a lot of the um, United Wings decks use it. Um, it can be useful if you need to get stuff in your discard pile quickly um, during that first hand. It's just you have a two prize liability for 160 HP, which is a little rough. So if you're able to get it off your board, that's one thing, but if you're not, then it's kind of rough having that. But it can be very useful for getting a fast start. Um, but yeah, no, Lock Henry, really awesome episode. It was probably my second favorite episode. I rated it 8 out of 10. Beyond the Sea, so that one did have Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad. That one was another good one. Also had a good Black Mirror feel to it and everything like that. And um, it was interesting. It was pretty long. Some people commented on it being kind of drawn out, but I kind of appreciated that side. I oh no, I need to pull as many of these as I can. They still go for over a dollar, which is crazy. So once I have a play set, I'm just gonna sell all the other ones. Therapeutic energy, a lot of people are using it with that Snorlax. That makes itself fall asleep after it attacks, but with this, it won't fall asleep. So you don't even need to do the coin flip. And then Luxray, a lot of people use Luxray, one of, I've talked about it before. Great attacker. All right, I'm actually gonna get some water really quick. All right, sorry about that. I think with a little fluid, it helps my voice a little bit better, so I might just have to take more periodic pauses to drink a little something. Um, Maisie Day was my least favorite in the season. I gave it a six out of 10. It was a weird one, very weird. It gave me Twilight vibes. I mean, I would still recommend watching it. It wasn't so bad that I wouldn't say don't watch it, but it was uh, it was definitely different. The most obscure Black Mirror episode that I've seen. It was, it was wild, it was wild. Shrudel and the Valooza. And then the final episode, Demon 79, was probably my favorite episode of the season. It's one that has a decent ending. Um, but overall, I thought it did have some jump scares, which kind of freaked me out. But I think it was just paying homage to some of the older school scary movies or horrors. And But it was just my favorite overall. I really liked the dynamic. It had some good comedic elements to it. I just really liked it. It was uh, Demon 79 is probably my favorite. Let me know if you watched the entire season of Black Mirror and uh, what your favorite episode was, if you cared. I've seen all of Black Mirror and I've enjoyed so many episodes. Gen Energy is so great. Frigibax. Frigibax actually goes for a decent amount, especially if you get the art one. The Hariyama. I love seeing the Makuhitas in the background. That's kind of cool. All right, we got six packs left in this part. Also, recently I did sell both of my PSA 9 Curlia Reverse Hollows slabs that I had um, because I recently got those in 10s. I don't need the 9s anymore, so I sold the 9s. And I'll probably show the... The sold listings up so that was kind of nice i could have brought them to my lgs they probably would have paid me like ten dollars each so i'm glad i sold them on ebay to get a little bit more money so i will just slowly sell things on ebay if i think they're more worthwhile to sell you know individually or whatever so let's see did dunsparce and jump bluff yes i've been waiting to pull this jump bluff because it's by my favorite artist naoya kimura and jump bluff is just a cutie blown through the breeze and Drifting Dodge can be kind of a troll, because if any damage is done to this Pokemon by attacks, flip a coin if heads prevent that damage. And this attack also does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon for one energy. So, it can be kind of annoying, but it is a cute card, and I hope I pull another one so I can add it to my Kimura pile. So I've been slowly collecting. Also, when I was hanging out with my friends, when I did that kayaking experience, my friend had a Skyrim pillow on his couch. <clears throat> and let me tell you, it was beautiful. I just imagine you wake up and you see that pillow and you just feel like you're in another world and it's amazing. That It made me laugh so hard when I saw that pillow. It was, I had to take a photo because it was beautiful. Demon Slayers. Oh, wait, hold on. Quaxwell. Whoosh. That water whip. Skip Bloom. Drifting Dodge, also with that ability. Jigglypuff and the... Oh, gosh, dang it. I think this is the second one of these that I've pulled. So Slowking EX. A lot of people don't really like it. Doesn't have doesn't have the big numbers of HP. Profound knowledge can be kind of annoying because of the confusion. And wise HUD butt is good because then you can put two cards and put them into your hand. But it only does 130, so 
It's a little rough. It's a beautiful card, but yeah, just doesn't quite make it to where, you know, everyone wants to use it. But I, you know, I've seen some good uses from it, I guess. All right, so not doing too bad. But yes, Demon Slayer's most recent season has finished up. So this may sound crazy. I really liked it. I've loved every single Demon Slayer season up to this point. But this has been my least favorite Demon Slayer season so far. Once again, it was really good. Like, say this season was an 8. And then the last couple ones, or the last few were like all 9s. Still really good. Would recommend it to anybody. But it was my least favorite so far. So let me know what you thought of the, um, or like the people that make the swords. Oh my gosh, I, I'm, I'm losing vocabulary and my voice. Um... But yeah, that arc basically. And yeah, it's been my least favorite so far. Oh, okay. Hey, all right. So when this first came out in Japan, people were going crazy. And then of course, Iono came out and then it was like, oh my gosh, Iono. But a lot of people really like this Dendro. I mean, it's Dendra up close. You got the water fountain, a little bit of the sweat going. You know, if you don't remember Dendra from the games, Dendra's like constantly like moving and it's teaching you all of your classes with Dendra outside. When you go to the one gym, like Dendra makes you like mimic dance moves and everything. At least I think if I remember correctly, that's Dendra. And I, I guess I kind of get the appeal behind Dendra. The card itself is kind of meh. I've seen some new decks use it, which is weird. Put a card from your hand on the bottom of your deck. If you do, draw cards until you have five cards in your hand, which... I guess it's almost like a, I was going to say it's like a B-Barrel and Squovit combined, but it's not really. Um, so this one was like extremely pricey on the Japanese side, but then the Iona kind of took over. And I don't know, I just like the regular full art approach better. Like I understand this is like a different, you know, point of view and everything, but it's kind of oh, too much up close and personal. I got another Orthworm. So this is the special illustration rare probably that I will get from this box. <clears throat> but that's kind of cool. I was not expecting Dendro. I'm pretty sure Dendro's up there as far as pricing goes. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Um, so maybe we'll have a Hyper Rare at some point in this box or, you know, hopefully a, a few more of the regular illustration arts. But that spell, special illustration art, that one's cool. Pretty cool to get that one. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, I would love to get the Saguaro special illustration art rare. That one is, that one's really sweet. And we have a, oh my gosh, I was, yeah, this is, Komiya does all three in this evolution line for this set, and every single one is just amazing. So trippy, so psychedelic, and yeah, these of course go for a decent amount, because a lot of people are playing the Chien Pao Bax Caliber decks, so everyone wants their stuff, and you're going to need a bunch of fridge backs, you're going to need, so they sell pretty well. I am just very happy to add this one to my collection. Wow. Looks like the left side is going to have majority of the pulls. Um, wow, only two more packs. And then also One Piece. Still caught up on One Piece. I think the fight with Big Mama is almost finished. <clears throat> so that's kind of exciting. Once again, I think this arc has just gone on for so long. I just can't wait for it to end. And then I can just let it build up for, like, I guess two years now. So I can finish it later. Um, but yeah, overall... It's just, I hate, I guess I appreciate and I hate when you have a show that's been going on for almost 1,200 episodes, you know, I guess it makes sense to, like, budget out certain parts. The Rock EX, holy crud. All the pools coming out to play. So some people, you can be pretty terrifying with the Scary Fangs, because if you use this attack during your opponent's extra turn, if this Pokemon is damaged by an attack, you put 10 damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So that can be kind of annoying, leaving that residual damage behind so then it's an easy knockout for whatever pokemon can follow up so got to be wary or you got to escape rope or gust or do something so interesting interesting but yeah so really want one piece to finish up and it's just crazy how much the animation changes from episode to episode like when a good fight's happening the animation's amazing and then when it's not a good fight they're like reusing assets that they've been using for like the last hundred episodes it's just kind of depressing but <clears throat> all right last pack for this part and yeah this has been an amazing part it's a viper mouse hold and another garganical i'm pretty sure this was the first hollow in the first pack and we finished up with the same one so wow first part was absolutely amazing 
I pretty much have pulled the bulk from this box already. So the next part's probably not gonna be as lit. But who knows, maybe a hyper rare, maybe one more special or illustration art rare, and maybe another EX, yeah. But that Dendra though, but that Dendra though. All right, yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this video. I'm so sorry about my voice. I'm debating whether or not to film the next part right now with my same voice. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I have more talking points for next time, and I will catch you all in the next one.